GoForTheTwo.com talking about a marquee matchup in the Big 12 this weekend between the undefeated Oklahoma Sooners and the TCU Horn Frogs. I'm going to give you some news and notes about both sides of the ball for each team. I'll give you my prediction for this ball game Thursday morning up on my website, GoForTheTwo.com. So check that out. Prediction for TCU Oklahoma up on the website, GoForTheTwo.com on Thursday morning. Let's talk about the Sooners right now. A very impressive 35-21 victory over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish in South Bend. That defense continues to impress me. They created three turnovers. They frustrated Notre Dame quarterback Tommy Reese. They got two key interceptions in the very early part of that ball game that allowed Oklahoma to jump up 14-0. They never looked back. They relied on a run-heavy offense. They wore down the Notre Dame defense the front and they ran away with a 35 to 21 victory in South Bend. I like what head coach Bob Stoops and his brother Mike Stoops are doing with the defense. The adjustments that they've made, the linebackers led by Corey Nelson, the secondary are very physical in run support. That's something that they did not do during the 2012 season, and it's paying dividends in the early part of the Sooners season this season. I think if they play this way the rest of the way, Oklahoma has the possibility of being a top five team this season. So you have to keep your eye out for the Oklahoma Sooners. Offensively for Oklahoma, Blake Bell played very well in the matchup against Notre Dame. He was very efficient, 22 of 30, 232 yards, two touchdowns passing. He did not turn the ball over, which was another reason why Oklahoma ran away with the victory. He had a 59 yards rushing on 12 attempts, so he's a dual quarterback, can hurt you with his legs, and has shown in the early part of the 2013 season that he can hurt you with his arm. The passing game for Oklahoma, they like to use the slants and the intermediate passing game. They haven't really challenged secondary over the top, but I think in order to pick up the victory against TCU this weekend, they're going to have to challenge the Horn Frog secondary. It's going to be a very tough task for Oklahoma to run on TCU. When you look at TCU's defense, they're only giving up 115 rushing yards per game. They have a very solid defensive line led by Devontae Fields, very aggressive in, the, in rushing the passer too, giving uh, uh, 15 sacks on the season. They're a little bit weaker in pass coverage, giving up 238 total yards per game, but they're coming off a very impressive home victory over SMU. They challenged Oklahoma last year at home. They lost 24-17. to Trev Boykin was a little erratic in that matchup at home against Oklahoma last season. He's a sophomore now, so he has another year in Gary Patterson's system. So expect Trev Boykin to be prepared for this ballgame. When you look at Oklahoma's defense... Very good last week against Notre Dame. They only gave up 324 total yards. They did give up 220 rushing, but 80 of them came on the touchdown run to Notre Dame running back George Atkinson on an 80-yard dash. So other than the other than the 80-yard touchdown, they held the Notre Dame rushing game in check most of the way. I think this is a very tough matchup for Oklahoma. But they have to be mentally and physically prepared for a very disciplined TCU Horned Frog offense and defense. We'll see how it plays out. I'll have the prediction for this ball game Thursday morning up on the website. Check it out at GoForTheTwo.com. This weekend's a great matchups all across the board, and I can't wait to talk about them. So stay with me all season long.